Hello, I'm Bob Dunn, Chief of the Fullerton Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred on the eastbound 91 freeway just east of Kramer Boulevard on Friday, July 5th, 2019. You are about to see relevant video footage and photographs, hear radio transmissions, and learn of other evidence and facts so you have a better understanding of what occurred during this incident based on what we know today. We are still in the preliminary stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. Additionally, we also withhold judgment and do not draw any conclusions about whether or not our officers acted consistent with our policies and in accordance with the law until all facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution, the images and footage you are about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect, or to fend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. Further, the circumstances surrounding the use of force may also be disturbing. In addition, there may be strong language used by those in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. I'm Lieutenant John Radis, Public Information Officer for the Fullerton Police Department. I'm going to provide you with a brief overview of an incident that occurred on Friday, July 5th, 2019, at around 7 p.m. At that time, a Fullerton PD K-9 officer was on his way to take his K-9 partner to the veterinarian hospital because of an injury he sustained on a prior call. As the officer was traveling eastbound on the 91 freeway, approaching the Kramer Boulevard exit, he noticed a dark-colored SUV traveling past him at a high rate of speed in violation of the California Vehicle Code. Based upon the observed violation, the officer attempted to conduct a traffic stop. As the officer attempted to stop the vehicle, the gray SUV appeared to have intentionally collided with his police car. The driver then made an abrupt U-turn into oncoming traffic and came to a skidding stop, facing the wrong way on the freeway. Because of the erratic behavior of the driver, the officer requested emergency assistance from additional police officers. You will now hear the police radio traffic as this incident was initiated. Major K, Army Units, Code 391 at Tustin. I think it's just 191 and test advice. 127 around 91 and lemon. Car just proceeded to me on purpose when a female driver jumped off. All Fullerton Police Patrol officers are equipped with body worn cameras. Fullerton Police Department policy requires all body worn cameras to be worn chest level in a forward facing position that facilitates comprehensive recording of contacts and or incidents. You're about to view body-worn camera footage from that perspective. It's important to keep in mind that body-worn cameras are an investigative tool and like any device, they have limitations. Body-worn cameras do not necessarily capture everything an officer sees, just like the body-worn camera may capture something an officer does not see. Further, body-worn cameras do not have an ability to depict what an officer is feeling or experiencing during a given incident. After the collision, the officer exits his police vehicle in an attempt to make contact with the driver of the SUV. He approached on the driver's side of the vehicle, at which time he was confronted by a female. The female was in a shooting stance, with both arms extended in front of her, pointing a gun directly at the officer. This resulted in an officer-involved shooting. Immediately after the shooting, the officer requested a paramedic team to respond to the location. Shortly after that, the officer and a witness began providing medical care to the female, including the use of a tourniquet and a chest seal. You will now see the body-worn camera footage from the involved officer. Guy through K, shots fired, shots fired. Show me your I fucking hands! Show me your hands! I got suspect down on the freeway. I need medics, please. Get back in the car! Get back! Oh! Yeah, you see the 417 on the ground? It's gonna be on the eastbound 91. Don't 
fucking move! Put your hands out to your side! Don't move! Hey, stay back, stay back, stay back! Get back! Roll over on your stomach! Roll over on your stomach! Do it now! Put your hands to your side! Put your hands out to your side! Hey, you got me covered, partner? Hey, I clear this car. Just hold her, hold her. I got another LAPD unit with me. Yo, were you with me? Put your hands by your back. Yeah. Where you hit, ma'am? Where you hit? Can you help me, please? I know where you hit. Hey, we go to my passenger side of my car. There's a med kit right on top of my bag. I'm gonna help you. Hold on a second, okay? Where's it at? Where's it at? Hold on a second. 93K for the WC. Just confirm that you're code four. Affirm. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Just stay with me. Stay with me, you're okay. Stay with me, you're all fine. She's still with me right now, okay? Don't worry about it. Where's she hit? In his chest. What do you got? What do we got? Let me see this. Are you okay? Stay with me, stay with me, are you okay? She's still cautious? Talk to me, talk to me. Hey, talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Stay with me, you're okay. What? You're okay. No. You're okay. Start cutting her clothes. Stay with me, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You got help. Where else she hit at in the leg? Where you hit? You got one leg shot right here. You got one leg shot. I don't know about the chest. It looks like there's something right here. Which leg? Right here. Hey, we put those seals on her chest. Cut that shirt off. You will now see a portion of the footage at a reduced speed. The following still images were taken from the primary officer's body-worn camera. As seen in the video, and from the still image, the female involved in this incident assumed a shooting stance and pointed a handgun directly at the officer. In response, an officer-involved shooting occurred. This is the evidentiary photo of the handgun located in the female's possession. Although it was later discovered the handgun pointed at the officer was a replica, in this side-by-side -side comparison with an actual firearm, it could be seen that the two are nearly indistinguishable from one another. Paramedic personnel arrived and continued treatment of the female. She was transported to a local hospital where she passed away. At approximately 8.30 p.m., 
roughly 90 minutes after this incident occurred, the Anaheim Police Department Communications Center received a 911 telephone call from the female's father indicating that the female took their rental car, had been missing for about three hours, and may have wanted to harm herself. Here's a portion of the call made to the Anaheim Police Department. 911, what's your emergency? Um, I have um, a situation where my, uh, I believe my daughter, uh, she's taking the car. Um, I've given her a couple, almost four hours now, and I haven't heard from her. Um, she's on medication right now for uh, antidepressants. Okay, so um, are you wanting to file a report for your missing daughter or for the missing car? For both. Okay, what address it, does she leave from? In Anaheim, California. And she left four Nine. hours ago? She left about three hours ago, yeah. How old is your daughter? She's 17. Are you afraid that she's going to hurt herself? I am. Did she mention I am. anything about that? Sorry? Did she I'm mention sorry. anything about hurting herself? No, ma'am. But um, like I said, she's on medication right now. And um, it, it just, you know, it's out of the blue. Never done this. In okay. And you said she's on medication for depression, correct? Yes, yeah, she's on a uh, purpose which is um, Prozac and Abilify at night. Okay. What kind of vehicle did she leave in? Oh, uh, the Dodge Durango. Um, the what 2000 color? Black. 2018. It's a rental. So I don't know, <laughs> know the information. Okay. Did she say why she left or where she went? No, no, we didn't even know she left. Okay. I, and you I haven't just, been able to contact her on the phone, I'm guessing? I have been, we've been calling. We've been trying to track her phone, but we, can't, we cannot find her. We cannot find her. Okay. What's your daughter's name? What's her date of birth? Okay. Is she white, black, Asian, or Hispanic? <laughs> white. How tall is she? She's about five, six. She's she, about 190, 180 pounds. 180 Short. Pounds. Okay. Short, uh, Does anybody know what kind of clothes she was wearing today? <laughs> Sir? I didn't see what she was wearing. Okay, nobody saw what she was wearing. Okay. Does she drink or do any drugs? Saw the clothes that she was wearing on the bag. Okay, do you know if she drinks or does any drugs? That I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, she hasn't had anything like drink or anything. Or okay. She hasn't done any of that kind of stuff whatsoever. Okay. okay. Do you know if she carries any weapons on her? No, I don't okay. think she has any weapons on her. What is your name? I have a call in for service. We'll get someone out to you as soon as we kind of take a report, okay? In the meantime, can you um, call the rental company and see if they can find the license plate number on the car? Yes. Okay, get that information for the officers so they're going to need it for the report, okay? Yeah. Okay. Is this going to be like, is this going to be like she'll be charged with theft? I'm sorry? Is this going to be like she's charged with theft or something? Charged with theft? Yeah. No, that's only because, if you want to press because, charges, but we're taking a report for her being missing. I don't want to Because she's driving a vehicle, so... Yeah. So we want the license plate number of the car she's driving in case anybody... Because what's going to happen is we're going to put her in the missing person system. So anybody who comes in contact with her or the license plate number, they run it, they'll see that it's a missing person. So that's why we need that license plate number. Okay? Okay. Okay, we're going to start looking for that stuff, okay? Okay. All right, okay. thank you. When a critical incident such as an officer-involved shooting occurs, three separate and comprehensive investigations are initiated. The first investigation is conducted by the Orange County District Attorney's Office, which determines if the actions of the involved officer were within the law. The second investigation examines the criminal culpability of the suspect. This incident occurred in the city of Anaheim, and as a result, the Anaheim Police Department's homicide detail will investigate any criminal conduct of the suspect prior to or during the incident. The third is an internal administrative investigation which determines if the officer's actions met the high standards we hold for all our employees and to ensure they acted in accordance with department policy. Over the next several months, the Orange County District Attorney's Office and Fullerton Police Department will continue to investigate and analyze this incident to determine whether the actions of the involved officer were within the law and within department policy. Fullerton Police Officers, like all police officers in the state of California, have police powers throughout the entire state, not just in their respective jurisdictions. Because our officer saw a vehicle that appeared to be operated in a dangerous manner, he took action, which he not only had the authority, but expectation and responsibility to do. The job of a police officer is often difficult and dangerous. Although we train and work hard to de-escalate volatile situations, officers must react, 
sometimes in a split second. The decision to use lethal force is not something we take lightly. It is truly tragic for all involved. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.